He's bringing an intellectual energy to campus. He brings a perspective of someone who's both an experienced teacher and a distinguished scholar. And it's that scholar-teacher nexus that for us is critical to everything we do here. So he embodies what I think is really the identity and the mission of Dartmouth. The first time I met him, I thought, this is a formidable scholar. I think for a faculty member, nothing is more important than having the leader of the institution be someone that set an example in their own life and work for the values that we try to embody. I'm sure that he will give us a good uh, look at what he plans to do with the uh, college in the future. Uh, I'm also thrilled that he is a Dartmouth graduate and has a good and deep understanding of the college. And uh, that, I think, at times has been missing. The setup with the flags looks really great and it's really representative of the diversity at our school. So I'm really excited to be there for the event later on today. Not only is the Dartmouth community here, but the greater Hanover community as well. And so it's adding a lot of character and flavor to our campus as well. I met President Hanlon during matriculation and um, I went up and shook his hand and talked to him for uh, a couple minutes and it was a really good experience. He's one of the most social people I've met, I think, and he's a great guy to talk to. It's a very special feeling that we're the first class that President Hanlon is gonna is gonna be a part of, and I'm excited. It's it's just like it's a real experience to have you know the president also be basically a freshman. Oh, I'm so excited that we have uh, an alum at the head of Dartmouth. I've, I've, I've spoken with him a lot, and it's he's really uh, it's it's a whole step ahead to to have come from Dartmouth and to have you be leading the institution. I think that it is great that he is staying involved in the day-to-day -day lives of students. Um, I think it's the kind of experience that um, you know might seem symbolic, but in reality is actually I think going to keep him very connected with what's what's going on on in people's everyday lives. He's asking questions. He's not coming up with a big agenda. He's really trying to hear what is going on on campus and what students want, what faculty want, and take leadership as an inclusive thing. But I really liked that he said that the inauguration wasn't just for him, it was for our community, and not just a community for itself, but a community for learning, for furthering knowledge. He's a friend to exciting times, and um, that makes me think, ah, oh, you know, the changing technology on campus, the changing face of the student body, and the changing research initiatives of faculty, all of that I think he can, he can really roll with and, and bring a new perspective and lead us in a way that I think you know, I, I think we'll all benefit and we'll all look back at this time and say, wow, if it hadn't been for Phil, <laughs> you know, I think I, I'm looking forward to that.